my name is Jill Bray Bowen, CEO of Northwestern Medical Center and your host of the NMC Health Beat Show, dedicated to discussing important healthcare topics of interest to our community. In this segment of Health Beat, I'll be talking to Rise Vermont Program Manager Denise Smith and NMC Vice President Jonathan Billings about what's exciting about the developments of Rise Vermont. And look, we all match. <laughs> Yay! I finally got the notice. No, <laughs> finally. So this is wonderful. Um, and you've been on the show before, so I think people know you well enough um, so we can kind of jump right in. But well, let's start off by reminding the viewers of what is Rise Vermont. How would you describe it to our community? Uh, I will describe it as Rise Vermont is a movement, and it's a movement that not only starts with the individual, it's a movement that's at the community level, it's at the worksite level, and it's at the school level. It's a movement um, that inspires people um, to change behavior um, as we amplify all the great things that are happening in our community. Um, very inspiring. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I've been feeling about it lately. And um, it is uh, really about um, reducing health care costs in our community where we work, live, play, and learn, mm -hmm. um, and, and creating opportunity for people everywhere. Um, I think, I think the, the thing that I think about a lot is when people want to make a change, mm -hmm. is there places for them to create, to, to, yeah. to, to have that change happen? Are they supported at work? Are they supported in their community? Are the kids supported at school? Um, so that's, that's, that's what I think Rise Vermont is. Yeah, I think it's all about embracing healthy lifestyles in a really positive, fun, energetic way. That, and making sure that everything around our community supports that and makes that healthy choice the easy choice mm. and, and just lets people thrive with, with better health. Exactly. It's no one thing. It's right really building that infrastructure. It's working with families and individuals, organizations, you're at the schools, the businesses, everywhere. And so how do you really infiltrate and create this really inspiring movement? So I think that's, um, that's very, very well said. So maybe you could give us an update on what's happened more recently locally. Uh, what are some things that you're doing oh. to create that environment? <laughs> so we're really excited right now because there's a big uh, campaign that's launching um, in January. And it's starting um, actually with an event in Swanton on the 25th of January. Um, and then really taking off at Healthy Hearts on the Move. Uh, we're launching an active play campaign for the community. Um, and it is designed to really just, I, you know, I sort of look at it as multi-generational play um, and not just thinking about children playing, but mm -hmm. thinking about adults playing and people playing, <laughs> you know, playing with their animals, but just really um, encouraging, supporting, helping people try to rethink um, movement a little bit and mobility and think about it more in terms of like, well, what can I do? that's fun and, and that I like to do, right? Um, so we're all, you know, um, I, I think, and there's so many opportunities here in our community um, to be able to, to change how you, um, how you think about exercise. Mm -hmm. um, and so the Active Play campaign is gonna be a nine month um, evidence-based campaign in our community um, at all levels of Franklin and Grand Isle County. Um, in every community, there's going to be a lot of stuff happening um, on social media, mm -hmm. um, but as well, we're, we're going to be creating these fun family pop-up events throughout different communities over the nine months. Um, and our, our show-up event calendar, which is something that the viewers hopefully know about already, but our show-up event calendar is really geared towards um, supporting active play in the community this, this time around and then going forward over the next um, nine months as well. So, so I noticed you didn't give us any what those pop-up things or these little exciting things that are coming. But uh, so active play campaign kicking off January 25th. Yes. In Swanton. Swanton. Family. So are we all invited? Or, or? We're all invited. Okay. Yes. We're all invited. Do you have a time? Or? It's going to be 530 to 7 and it's going to be at the um, uh, Swanton Central School. Okay. Yep. Five 530 to 7. Very quick um, event. 
uh, think high energy, <laughs> lots of activities, um, and our team of Rise uh, staff members that are going to be there to support you on the at this event. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Posters and all the media information is going to be going out um, this week. Okay, great. So. And then you mentioned um, the healthy heart. So it sounds like there's a there's a two two things going on to kick this off? Yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. On uh, February 10th, Healthy Hearts on the Move, which is an event, I think it's how many years now, Jonathan? We're in our fifth year? I think it's fifth my year, year yeah. five. Year yeah. five, okay. So Rise Vermont is gonna be there with an active play pop-up, basically, very much um, developed after uh, the Swanton pop-up event. Okay. Um, but it's gonna be, again, really uh, supporting uh, parents and guardians of children to play with their kids. Um, nice. And um, NCSS will Permission to play. Permission to play. That's a Love good way it. of putting it. <laughs> I don't know if yeah. you want to add anything. Yeah. So Healthy Hearts is Saturday, Thank February you. 10th at St. Albans City School, and it runs 9 to noon. And it's a really a fantastic partnership between the hospital and Northwestern Counseling and Support Services and a multitude of other partners around the community. Um, there's free health screenings. There's a lot of different educational and interactive opportunities for people to explore better health. Um, there's recreational opportunities. Um, NCSS Family Center does some fantastic work for little kids opportunities to play. And then Rise Vermont this year is taking on that spirit of it's not just the little kids who get to play. We all get to play. <laughs> and, and this year we're fortunate that the governor is planning to attend. That's incredible. He really has been remarkable in showing support for Rise Vermont. So the fact that he's going to be present for a kickoff event is, is really amazing. It's wonderful to have the, the leaders at the highest level in our state, whether it's, it's the governor or the Agency of Human Services or the health department, all in on the idea of primary prevention and the fact that if we get out in front of things yes. and embrace healthy habits, we're headed towards a healthier future, and that's just better quality of life for all Vermonters. And so to have the governor come yes. to, to our county, to our event, to stand next to Rise Vermont and say, we are rising, this, this is the path to a healthier future, is just really exciting. And, and I don't know if we'll get him in a, a hula hoop, but we'll get him moving. So <laughs> we're, we're excited to have him join us. We might some, have some indoor snowball fighting happening, so maybe he'll <laughs> Join us in that. We're not sure. <laughs> you know, I, I think you know, when you, we talk about play, we're not talking about running marathons or, or you know, having this rigorous exercise. We really want people to get moving yes. and to have fun doing it versus saying, oh, my God, i got to get up and exercise for an hour. That's not what this is about. It's getting people playing again and getting together and having fun together as families and as communities. So... I'm really excited about this kickoff. I think what's so interesting about play and, and even just talking about it or thinking about it, it means something different to everybody, right? right? And, you know, your play could be something that you love to do, and my play is something I love to do. And they could be the same thing, but they could also be very different from each other. Right. But what we're trying to do is help people realize that, that, that play is good and that play is important and that we as humans need um, opportunity to connect with each other through play. Yes, um, so. exactly. It's been interesting as we've worked on the active play campaign to hear how many adults say, oh, I used to love to do this. Uh, I used to be a this, I used to do that. My, we used to do this together as a couple. Yes. And the, so the permission to play is really important. It's the, well, why don't you? Go back <laughs> right. after it. That's um, right. You know, get those snow shoots out. Get your hula hoop out. Yeah, you're probably not too old to play frisbee. You know, and so <laughs> that's right. um, I think that's that should bring some real new energy and, and joy back into this idea of being physically active. That's terrific. Now, so the the word is out that Rise Vermont's going statewide. So. Can you talk a little bit about that and what that means? <laughs> it is. It's a blur. Um, <laughs> An and a really exciting blur. A really <laughs> exciting blur. And first of all, for our community, what it means is that our focus continues locally. And Denise yes. and her team continue to, to work with partners throughout Franklin and Grand Isle to keep our corner of the state rising. But while our corner of the state rises, other corners of the state have looked in and said, wow, they're doing some neat things in Franklin and Grand Isle counties. And how do we get involved? And health department leadership has been excited. Um, the accountable care organization, One Care, has looked mm -hmm. at this and embraced it as a, a way to keep healthy people healthy. And Vermont hospitals have reached out yes. and said, hey, how do we bring this to our community? 
And so we now have 10 areas of the state that are interested in joining in rising and in replicating what we're doing. And so a, a statewide board has come together to organize this effort so it doesn't all fall on Denise, so Denise can continue yeah. to focus locally. And they've hired uh, two remarkable folks who have started in the past uh, <laughs> few weeks. And so <laughs> we <week>. have um, <laughs> Marissa Parisi, who is executive director of Hunger Free Vermont, mm -hmm. has stepped over to, to Rise Vermont at the state level. And Emmy Wollenberg, who is a Vermonter who went to Wisconsin and earned her master's in public health and worked for their state health department, has come back to Vermont to join with Rise yeah. Vermont. And these two dynamic leaders will be working with communities throughout the state starting in February to help communities um, begin to rise. And, and there's pockets of excitement all across the state. And it's, it's a great tribute to the work Denise's team has done and to the leadership of our local health department and our hospital that our peers around the state want in on it as well. Yeah, exactly. It's just so exciting. And I'm, I couldn't be more thrilled to be talking with you and to be part of uh, this amazing journey to really to um, allow folks to reach their optimal health. So um, as far as um, Rise Vermont, I mean, this has been a great local program it's going statewide, but we also had a process of validating this work. Could you talk a little bit about that? Because it's not just something um, that we started without intent, um, and now where it's going is, is pretty amazing. So could you talk a little bit about that Yeah, aspect? this is uh, one of the things that, you know, we talk about show up events and Frisbees and, you know, smoke-free parks and, and bike racks and all of these different things, and they're all fun. Sidewalks. Sidewalks in there. Yeah. It turns out they're all evidence-based. Yeah. And, and there's research behind this fun that we're having. And the Centers for Disease Control lights the way. Um, the socio-ecological model of behavior change tells us theoretically we're doing the right things. Yes. But with, through the work of Dr. Elizabeth Fontaine, who is our medical director for Rise Vermont, both locally and now statewide, um, we connected with EPOD, which is an international organization. Their name is a, an acronym for, in French, Together Let's Prevent Childhood Obesity. And so they're an internationally proven methodology that's worked in 29 countries across the globe to make communities as a whole healthier. And Elizabeth did uh, quite a bit of research, and what she found through the U.S. Chamber of Commerce study, actually, mm -hmm was that this methodology has been replicated repeatedly. And so Dr. Fontaine reached out to them and through her persistence and charm, was able to get their <laughs> attention. And we've been working long distance with the, the experts from EPOD. And they actually came to Vermont, um, would have been yeah. 2016? Yeah. And, and did a validation study of came and watched what we were doing, talked to our community partners, looked mm -hmm. at our results, and scored Rise Vermont very strongly as a startup program and welcomed us into, into their kind of Impote International Network family. Yeah. And we are preparing for them to come back in February um, to see what Denise and her team have been doing in the past two years mm -hmm. and reevaluate to make sure we're still on course with their best practice methodology. Super. Um, and then also to help guide Marissa and Emmy and the statewide team in the rollout because they have experience and they're actually bringing some leaders from the Netherlands, the, the YOG program. We will have some folks who have helped roll uh, a kindred spirit program out across the Netherlands and those folks will come to help us with some real practical in the field. Here's things to think about. Here's ways to do things. So it's really exciting. It's, it's kind of funny to be in, in our corner of rural Vermont and, and talking to experts around the world. But this yeah. really is an exciting movement um, for us. It is. And, and it's something that every Vermonter can understand. You know, there's so much going on in healthcare, and you hear all payer and capitation and all of this craziness. But when you think about Rise Vermont, everybody can think about where they're at and they can do one more little thing to, to make it better, to rise yeah. a bit within their own world, their own family, and things that they can control. And with that action, if we all do that together, just think what a better place will be, a healthier place um, that will be. So our time flies when we have these <laughs> conversations. I want to just keep going. But thank you so much. Um, 
for coming on and talking about local and talking about the scale up and and for your leadership for really bringing this mission, this vision um, alive. And it's just really powerful. And to see it come to reality is, is overwhelming. So thank you both very, very much for your leadership. And January 25th, kick off in Swanton. Yes. Uh, active play, so permission to play. And 537. then 537. And then February 10th, Healthy Heart uh, on the move at the City School, St. Albans City School, nine to noon. Nine to noon. And the governor is going to be there. Yes. So yes. let's be there so and come let's join all us. bring our kids and just come and have fun and, and play together. So thank you for joining us um, and talking about Rise Vermont. Thank you.